What is going on, guys? Money Webby here, back again on Monday. Got 11 games here tonight. I got it broken down for you with my money six, six of my favorite plays on the slate. Two pitchers, four batters to get it done for you tonight. So before we get going, if you could drop a like in the video, means a lot. Um, would really appreciate that. Let's try to get over 60 likes on this one. Thank you. Let's hop right into it, though. Not waste any time. First guy up. I'm gonna go with Robbie Ray, 11,400. Some overpriced pitching, I would say. Um, Gary Cole and Clevenger, just really expensive. So I'll take a little bit of a discount on Robbie Ray. Really good upside. Struggled against Texas, but that was on the road. Tough pitching environment there. Allowed three home runs. Um, but against a Baltimore team who's facing a part downgrade, don't worry about their power as much. And he has very good home splits here in Arizona. If you look at the batting average, 198, 21.6 fantasy points per game. And now, like I said, a part downgrade for the, the Oreos. They strike out a good amount, really plays into Robbie Ray's hands as he has a 30% K rate. So he can kind of um, trigger that uh, trigger that upside. And one of the things with Robbie Ray is that he does walk a good amount of people. But this Oreos team doesn't really walk that much. They have the fifth lowest walk rate of teams in the major leagues. Um, so Robbie Ray kind of can worry less about that, be a little bit more able to get those swinging misses on the pitches outside of the zone. So I think he can get back in, into shape here. He was pitching really well against St. Louis and Colorado, those other two starts where he went six innings in both of those and only allowed four hits um, combined in those games. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my first pitcher. I think he'll be able to get a lot of run support as well. And then for my second guy, I want to take a little bit of a dart throw here with Alec Mills. Uh, he was pretty impressive against Cincinnati, I would say. Only allowed three runs in six innings. Six Ks, just didn't get the win. 13 drafting points, not great. Um, but a, definitely a better spot, I think, here against San Fran. A better pitching spot here, um, considering it's probably one of the friendliest pitching environments in all of baseball. Uh, the Giants to strike out a good amount against righties, 26% uh, 20, K rate versus righties on the season. And Mills showed some decent strikeout ability against Cincinnati with six Ks and six innings. And uh, like I said, I think we'll be able to get um, a better shot of getting the win here against San Fran as well. And uh, it's just a solid price at 6900 I think he can give us enough value in his price tag. Not crazy upside, um, but I also think his downside isn't that bad in this matchup. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my second guy. Then we can really tee off on some good hitters. So Alvarez is going to be my first guy here. Um, he's having a stellar year for the Astros. He's really killing it against lefties and righties. So you don't have to worry about the... The bullpen coming in and maybe giving him some struggles there if they go to the lefty. He's been really good against lefties as well. But going against Homer Bailey here, I'm a pitcher that is very, very inconsistent. Um, he's pretty much like, if you look up inconsistent in the dictionary, it's probably a pitcher of Homer Bailey. Because this guy can go one start from going like seven innings, allowing like one hit to the next start, not even making it out of the first inning. That's just how up and down he is. But I think he can definitely struggle against his Astros lineup. They don't strike out that much. He can struggle with his command. Um, so I can see him walking a good amount of guys here in this game. Then people just being on base for Alvarez. Like maybe he tries to pitch around the top, the top couple of guys a little bit too much and gets the, like, the bases loaded for Alvarez. Gets some guys on base for him um, to give him some RBI upside. And he's shown really good power this year. 313 ISO and a 53% hard contact rate against righty. So definitely laser in the ball every time he gets contact. I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there in a good spot. Uh, for him at 5,100. And for my second guy, I want to go with Nelson Cruz. Similar kind of situation. A guy that's hitting for incredible hard contact against this handedness of pitcher um, against lefties. Around a 67% hard contact rate. So even more impressive. One of the most impressive splits of all hitters I've seen this year. Um, he has a 387 ISO against lefties. Sabathia allowing a good amount of home runs this year. Two home runs per nine to right handed batters. Um, so I think Cruz can definitely go deep against them. Um, 5.3 runs are implied for this Twins lineup. And Cruz right in the middle of it. Um, can get up to five of bats, I think, in this matchup. And a 4,400, considering how good he is against lefties and how kind of bad Sabathia has been this year, just makes too much sense. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as the second guy. They want to go with Lupolo. Lupolo, I'm not sure if I'm Lupolo. kind of sounds weird. Um, I almost feel like I'm saying it wrong. But Lupolo at 4,200. Um, against the lefty here, another guy that's been extremely good against lefty is a 380 ISO, 451 Woba, and he's getting a park upgrade here, going against a pitcher 
um, who hasn't started at all this year. He was bad in the double A coming off an injury. Um, so there can definitely be some rust there. Um, pitching at home in an unfriendly pitching park. Um, hitter friendly, definitely. And Lupo, like I said, really good against lefties. Will be in that kind of middle of that order um, to get some good upside at 4,200. And just really killing it, like I said, against lefty to the fifth time. But I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my third hitter. Then I'm going to go with Neil Walker as the final got around rounded off. He has first base, <clears throat> first base and third base eligibility. So it gives you some good flexibility. Definitely not a great year by any means. Um, but this is a guy that does have the upside. He doesn't have bad power at all. Um, going to a solid spot here. Uh, Miami, definitely not hitter friendly. But he's going to Chicago. And some pretty good hitting con hitting conditions for lefties especially. There's going to be 13 mile an hour winds. Blowing to right field. Decently humid. And um, he's going to be towards the top of the lineup. So I think in this spot here, um, he can get it done against a bad pitcher in Nova. Who's allowing 1.8 home runs per nine to lefties. Walker can struggle with uh, strikeouts. Nova, not a strikeout guy. Um, so it makes too much sense to think here in this spot. Walker a lot better against righties. He is a, a switch hitter, um, but has shown a lot more success this year against righties. And at 3500 really good price tag. I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my final guy. Um, gives us some really good value to pay for those other hitters and pay it for a guy like Robbie Ray. So that's the money six you got. Robbie Ray. Alec Mills, Neil Walker, Alvarez, Cruz, and Luplo. So I hope you enjoyed it. Slap a like on it if you did. Really appreciate that. 60 plus likes. We'll see if we can hit it. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more MLB DFS picks. Um, we got fantasy football season right around the corner. If you want to keep it locked here, definitely subscribe. Like I said, I do weekly DFS plays with NFL slates. Um, I do kind of tournament videos to cover guys that are going to be lower owned and stuff like that to give you all the information you really need. You don't have to agree with who I like to play, but it's also good information just to kind of put some guys in your brain if you want to fade them and stuff like that for ownership because I do cover more cash game plays as well. So definitely keep an eye on that. It's about a month away from NFL season, fastly approaching. Um, but good luck here tonight on the slate. Hope you guys won a ton of money, and we'll see you back here again next time.